Well, if you're heading out to do some grocery shopping this week, be careful to make sure you're getting what you think you're paying for as we navigate rising inflation in our economy. Here's the term to have at the top of your mind, shrinkflation. Obviously a combination of the words shrink and inflation. It's a pricing strategy that tends to go hand in hand with inflation. And it's exactly as it sounds. Manufacturers charge the same price, but decrease the quantity of actual product in their packaging. In other words, it's a sneaky price increase. Shrinkflation is intended to go unnoticed by the average consumer, who of course will immediately notice a price increase. But companies are counting on the fact that you're not always checking how many ounces you're buying, especially on familiar products you buy every week. But some consumers have noticed the difference in their products, and I've been sharing examples of shrinkflation on a dedicated Reddit page, which includes discrepancies in cereal boxes, chip sizes, paper towel rolls, and even laundry detergent. Now these generally aren't extreme differences, but they do add up to save a company money. Tillamook Ice Cream released a statement telling consumers, in order to be profitable and support our farmer owners, we had two choices. Increase the unit price per carton or reduce the carton size from 56 ounces to 48 ounces and keep the price the same. Corporations will of course try to disguise their motivations. General Mills framed their shrinkflation as environmentally friendly, Concerning the change in cereal box sizes, spokesperson Kelsey Romhilt stated, this change also allows more efficient truck loading, leading to fewer trucks on the road and fewer gallons of fuel used, which is important to both reducing global emissions as well as offsetting increased costs associated with inflation. So before making a purchase, here are a couple things to check. First, regularly take note of the labeling on shelves, giving you price per ounce or price per unit. If it looks higher than usual, take a look at the product itself and compare to what you know you usually buy. Also, investigate when packaging looks different in shape or height and see if the net weight has changed. We may be on a trajectory toward dollhouse-sized cereal boxes and candy bars, but until then, we can at least try to be smart shoppers and not let manufacturers outsmart us. Go to FISM.TV news for more.